Hi guys. Come on in. Okay, I'll just wait for a while for people to join in. Hi Yoma. Nice to see you. Hi Incha. I hope that is your name. Hi guys, I, I'll wait for a few people to join in. Uh, meanwhile, you can just uh, you can just tell who you are and uh, you know what you're working on, what you do. Just introduce yourself. Uh, hi. I can see a few people joined in. So, um, if you've seen my stories, uh, you'd know that uh, I had put up uh, about unboxing a few of the yarns that I got from uh, Pradhan Embroidery stores. And uh, I was wondering if, uh, you know, you wanted, you guys wanted me to do a live unboxing all the yarns and, uh, you know, giving uh, my review about them. Or you wanted me to put it up on the stories and it was kind of neck to neck on both so uh, I guess um, I'll be doing both so I will uh, uh, do the live about all the yarns that I received uh, that I bought uh, recently and uh, as well what I will do is I will I will put up I, I will do another session of recording my review about the yarns and putting it up on the stories and keeping them on highlight so you know you will be uh, you'll be able to watch them again over like it'll be there on forever on the highlights so you can always watch them and see the review before you end up buying any yarns and if you want some review about it so I'll be doing both um, so I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to put up the stories by tomorrow uh, if not tomorrow then might be Tuesday because I'm, I'm actually kind of uh, heading out for a vacation on Wednesday. So I, everything is like very, very packed and hectic right now. So yeah, there I can see a lot of people have joined in. Hi guys, uh, just introduce yourself and, uh, you know, tell me what, you, what you're doing and, and how's your weekend. And, and just, you know, you can talk about yourself, about what you've been doing. So... Um, so as uh, as I was saying that uh, I'd be doing both. I'd be uh, so I, I'll, I'll, in this live I'll be showing all the yarns that I've got and I'll be doing the stories. So at the same time, a lot of new things happening, a lot of new things happening, but uh, nothing as if uh, like nothing till the uh, hi hi join. Thank you for joining in. Um, nothing as if. Uh, December because it's it's going to be a hectic month. Uh, but yes, coming 2019, there are a lot of new 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 announcements for String Diary, and uh, hopefully you guys will be with me on that on that journey. So that'll be a uh, that'll be a really good thing uh, to happen in the new year. So um, hi Mojina, good to see you join in. Hi Krush. Uh, Crucify, handmade by Nasser. Yes, that's like a really long name, but it's it's really nice. <laughs> Thank you for joining in. Uh, so yeah, so as I was saying, so we'll do uh, we'll do an unboxing. Uh, hi Shelly, nice to see you join in. Uh, that's really nice. Uh, Shelly says um, she just woke up and she needs coffee. And she's making a picture frame snow globe for Christmas. Oh, I guess I guess all of you guys are super, super busy with Christmas shopping and Christmas uh, decorations and putting up the tree. I can see so many, so many stories about people uh, showing off their decorations and all the small little ornaments that they're making. So really, really good to see you guys, uh, you know, prepping up for the holidays. So that's that's really good. Um, yeah, so I, I will kind of start with, uh, I can see a lot of people have joined in. 
I'm going to start with uh, the unboxing and uh, talk about what all I got this time. So uh, if you remember, I think like a month or two back, uh, you know, Pradhan. So I, uh, uh, as I said, I kind of shop mainly on Pradhan Embroidery Stores, which is an online website. Uh, they have a physical store in Bombay as well. Uh, not a pre promotion for them, but it's the best uh, variety that you get in Indian yarns as of now here. Uh, so, uh, so I always end up buying yarns from them and a couple of months back, so I think maybe a month or two back, they launched uh, one or two new uh, yarns and I was very, very keen on trying and seeing what these new yarns are. Uh, very different colorways and uh, you know very different uh, variety in terms of what we already have so if you if you if any of you had seen my last live i had and i had got a really really huge package from them and i had unboxed like a low like really really lot of yarns so i think we had uh, the eight ply uh, shaded yarn and uh, the color the solid yarn plus uh, uh, the jive the salsa so a lot of lot of new Vardhaman yarns basically. This time I was keen on trying out uh, you know uh, some of the new yarns that they've launched. So I think there are three uh, there are three of them which I bought uh, which are new uh, in uh, which are new on their website recently launched. So I will start ahead with it. So the first one is um, the Ganga Ritsi yarn. So uh, what um, this is supposed to be a new uh, uh, nylon blend, acrylic nylon blend yarn. Um, the colorway is is kind of interesting. If you guys can see a little bit, I don't know how uh, I can focus it. You know, um, there. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. So uh, the colorway is very different uh, in terms of. Um, it's, you have all of these small, uh, so this is basically a white yarn, which has this, uh, you know, the wrapping of another colored yarn, which keeps changing colors all throughout. So this one has, is like a super multicolored. It's got all possible colors of pink and orange and green and blue. Uh, I think everything, all, all colors are there in it. So uh, since this is an acrylic nylon yarn, uh, I was expecting it to be a little more softer, but uh, this is, uh, it seems a little squishy, but I have seen more softer yarns than this. So it's not very, very soft, but it is kind of squishy. So good for, uh, you know, uh, adult projects. The only thing that I don't like about this yarn uh, is that, you know, if I don't know if you guys can see, can you see these? You can see fibers, I can like, I can literally remove fibers of this yarn. So there is like a um, lot of fibers on this yarn. So definitely no baby products, no, uh, you know, teenage items and all. Uh, but probably um, adult uh, garments, home stuff, you know, uh, coasters and, and your uh, mug holders and, and rugs and all of that. So whatever, all of those will work really good with it. Uh, not really happy with that. Can you, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, can you see that shiny fiber there? Oh my God! See, I just removed like so much of fiber from it. So, yeah, not that happy about it. Uh, Judy says this is like Vardhaman Millennium. Actually, um, texture-wise, I don't think it is like Millennium uh, because Millennium is um, is a little more thicker than this. <coughs> this is. Um, this is, I think, a four ply. It's got the thickness of a four ply. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, it's uh, 225 meters for a 100 gram ball. So this is a 100 gram ball. And it says recommended hook size is 4.5. Uh, yes, Millennium also has th these many fibers, but I think the thickness is not the same. So the Millennium, I think, is a six ply. Uh, because I remember last time I did a review of uh, Millennium. Millennium, so the, yeah, the fiber coming out, yes, more definitely like Millennium, but not the same kind. Millennium has got more solid colors. This has got a lot of variation. So I kind of got a very simple color way. They have a lot of different variations in, in the colors as well. So, but didn't like the 
the fiber coming out yeah as judy said that the five the, the fibers you can pull out they are similar to vardhaman millennial uh, because that also has a lot of fibers on it uh, but um, yeah there see lot of lot of fibers so hi nodi crafts finally you could join in uh, oh he's uh, he, he just i just messaged him a while back asking he was you know mia for to like two days and uh, i think they don't have 4g uh, they don't have any network as of now so i hope it gets restored as soon as possible yes i definitely will pray for that um so as i was saying ganga with see good for home decor projects too much fiber very squishy but too much fiber not very soft though uh we'll go on to the next one is i got two of those uh, ganga ritsi schemes i don't know what i'm going to make out of them but yes i never buy yarn just for making something as like for a project it just end up buying yarn because it is there so next i bought is this big set of the vardhaman bling uh i i wanted to try it out because it it seemed it looked really nice so this is the colorway that i bought i love absolutely absolutely love the colorway so uh you can see it's got it's a very dark blue uh greenish blue kind of a color uh with you know these hints of rust and brown in the middle which is so subtle and so beautiful so um, orange mutai says yay yarn stories i will be i will be putting up reviews of these on my stories yes uh you can you can go ahead and look at look for that by tomorrow or day after but yes for now you can go back i can go back to you know giving my review on this so as i was saying um the ganga the vardhaman bling uh super soft and super squishy this is much more softer than the ganga ritsi uh and uh, you know not as fibery but at the same time if you guys remember when you know last time when i did uh, the review for the the salsa the i think the one the vardhaman salsa only so it had these hairy little uh, you know thingies you know the yarn fiber that was you couldn't pull it out but it's more like a hairy texture so but that was in bling i mean that that was super shiny and super super beautiful uh super soft also uh this has got a similar texture so if you can see um, i don't know how to if it focuses on this or not okay wait let me just yeah can you see i am not sure if you can see you can you can see that there is it's got this okay it's got this hairy like texture which is similar to the um the salsa but not as shiny and it's very subtle you can't really even make out unless you actually look at it in detail um super super soft i really really like uh this yarn the colorways are absolutely beautiful and very very subtle so uh this is the darker shade that i got but they have they have a lot of lighter shades as well which is really really nice i mean i uh very uh, few color changes and very subtle and uh, i absolutely love this can you just look at look at the rust look at that rust in the middle of this is, is, is this green super super beautiful i think this will make for a really really good shawl and any any kind of products um beanie i'm not sure it's too soft for something to hold uh, for a hat or a beanie but um super super soft for wraps or shrugs and cardigans really really nice so vardhaman bling although i do not like vardhaman uh, uh, yarns that much you know like we like we did a comparison last time uh, but uh, this one definitely is a better version of a uh, vardhaman yarn uh, really really soft good texture and really really good colorways uh i kind of always end up with ganga yarns but this one i do recommend it is really really nice uh okay so moving next 
I'm sorry. It's too cold here in Bangalore. Uh, you know, kind of end up getting sniffles. Okay, so next, I got this yarn from Pradhan Embroidery Stores for a tutorial that I'm going to be making soon. It's going to be the first pattern from string diary so people watch out for that it's going to come up come uh, the tutorial might be end of end of december tutorial might come out end of december because i'm not there in the next 10 days um so but uh, i'll be release officially releasing the pattern in the same week so it will probably be the end of december first of jan weekend like the whole week so sometime that time i'll be releasing so this um is going to be the color for that new project uh let me talk about this yarn so this is one of my favorite yarns uh i love pure wool yarn even last time i was i gave a review for uh, uh i don't remember which one uh it was the it was the eight ply pure uh the oswal knitting yarn yes uh, I gave the review for the Oswald knitting yarn, which was really nice, but that is more firm. It kind of holds very good for, uh, you know, stay on hats, like, you know, like those ones with the brims and everything. Very good for those hats, uh, but not very, very soft. It, it kind of has a feel uh, at the end of, of a cotton yarn, but it is pure wool. So it's very, very nice. Uh, so ha handmade by Ashita says never have worked with the same after your review I would want to work with it soon I hope I think she's talking about the bling the Gvardhaman bling yes you should try it it is actually I pref I like that yarn I'm not sure about the Ganga bling the Ganga Ritsi though not really that great but Gang the Gvardhaman bling good seems to be a good yarn so this is the 100% pure wool Ganga super fine merino yarn. It is so soft and so squishy. You can see that I can like squish it to make it as flat as possible. It's an 8 ply yarn. <clears throat> I've worked with this yarn before. Very soft. Uh, not great for projects that you want to stand like a beanie or like a cowl which you want you want it to stand uh, not great for that because it's very soft it stretches out so so the thing is um, you have to work with this yarn with a very light tension I, I've all, since I've already worked with this yarn before I know how it works uh, and you cannot frog it over and over again unlike acrylic yarns uh, like you can immediately the first time you frog it you can immediately make out there's a difference in the texture from what it the bounce is lost so this has a lot of bounce it if if you can see it is it's got quite a bit of bounce and if okay let me show you when i pull it you can see the thickness of the thread reduces versus what it is so this is an eight ply if you if you if you use this yarn you need to have a softer uh, ten, uh, softer tension you cannot have like a really really tight pull uh, or if you have a tight pull go at least one or two needle sizes uh, hook sizes above because um, you cannot you cannot uh, you know tightly pull this and, and it, it kind of loses the entire bounciness and softness of the yarn so see there you can if you can see it's when you when I pull this it's you know it's it goes becomes really really thin it almost becomes like a four ply but when you when you loosen the tension you can you can see the thickness of the eight ply so i just ordered the merino bowl too can't wait to see a tutorial thank you uh, uh orange mutai uh, i will be coming out with a tutorial soon um ashita says i love ganga merino i'm gonna start a new project soon i definitely recommend this yarn i love working with it and uh, absolutely absolutely beautiful beautiful yarn to work with they have really really amazing colors uh, unlike oswal knitting yarn which is also eight ply it comes in very very subtle, subtle 
uh, neutral shades only. Whereas this comes in a lot of colors. You can you can get anything from pink to uh, neutral colors to you know as you can see this lovely lovely light blue and this beautiful uh, you know green as well. So beautiful colors you get in this, uh, but it is a little expensive. So unlike um, the Ganga Baby Soft, Warm and Baby Soft, Warm, warm and Soft. Uh, 100% wool that is I think around uh, 130 or something per ball I'm not sure about the price uh, but this one is 190 per ball this is a 50 gram ball which has got 108 meters uh, yardage uh, it is expensive uh, but it is an excellent excellent yarn if you're working for baby products because uh, I would always recommend pure wool for uh, baby products uh, it's um, the warm and soft is four ply, but uh, uh, this uh, the super fine merino is eight ply. So uh, I have loved working with all the pure pure wool yarns. They 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 work very very well. I had given my review about the warm and soft last time. I remember. So I ended up buying. I bought this in the middle. I made another project. Uh, from it uh, didn't turn out as much as I hoped it would because I had to kind of I used it for a project which is supposed to sit a little fitter I had used it for a cowl it didn't sit fit it stretched quite a bit uh, so yeah it, it has a lot of bounds it stretches quite a bit you need to keep a few things in in mind when you're working with uh, the super fine merino but a really really good yarn to work with so that so um, if you if you've been following me and if you've seen my stories I had uh, I finally had an opportunity to go to pony craft store uh, last week and uh, I it, it was beautiful uh, but the thing is that they have only uh, imported yarns, which I think is only the brand from Nako. They have a couple of cotton yarns from in uh, Anchor as well, but uh, they don't house the other Indian yarns. So I was a little bit disappointed with that. Um, but um, I wanted to try. I have been, I've been eyeing Nako yarns from a very long time since uh, you know i finally found out and and this uh, about it i have I, I a couple of makers also use it and you know they, they kind of recommended that it's quite nice and you can you know you should try it so since i had that opportunity to go over there and see the yarn in person i did end up buying quite a bit although i must admit they are quite expensive uh, or any of the, even the, like the small uh, but they have a good range uh, even the most of them 100% acrylic but uh, I think their range starts from like 200 per ball or per 100 grams or per uh, uh, whatever 50 grams and all but um, they have a bamboo cotton blend which I really like very soft but that is I think like 300 plus per uh, 75 grams or 50 grams I wasn't sure I just found that too expensive uh, personally to kind of you know uh, I said okay I, I'm gonna try that yarn sometime <laughs> sometime later so but I do end up, I do ended up buying uh, I did end up buying quite a bit uh, so I'm going to give my review for them. This is the first one that I bought, which is the Nako Wall. Uh, Nako, Nako Walls. Uh, it is 100% premium acrylic. However, uh, if so, it is a four ply. Uh, it, the recommended hook size is 4, 4, is 2.5. On a crochet hook and 4.4 and 4.5 on a knitting needle. Um, it's 240 meters per 100 grams. But uh, if you see, if you see this, it's got the shine 
of like a silk yarn which i really really liked it looks really beautiful the colorways if you can see i can just show you the yeah you'll be able to see the colorways here can you see the colorways the range from green to light green to brown and that beautiful gold mustard and this is just like one of the colors they had like so many colorways in this there was a very beautiful pink turquoise and green combination which i absolutely love and i was so confused if i should if i should get this or if i should get that i kind of picked up both but then i i ended up buying this one so this one is um, 269 per ball this is a 100 gram ball so this is 269 uh, rupees for one ball uh very beautiful colorway i got judy i um judy us asking where did i get the nako yarn from i had been to pony craft store here in bangalore and um, you do get this in local stores here in uh, at commercial street also i have seen the yarn there but didn't had didn't have the heart to pick it up uh but then when i went to pony craft store um i was just so overwhelmed with the entire the the entire yarn display that they had it is so beautiful you it's it's drool worthy trust me it is drool worthy so there i bought this i bought two of these so since this is um 240 meters in 100 grams I thought that two of these would be would be really great for um an asymmetrical shawl or or just a just a kind of a wrap very beautiful colorway I I was mesmerized by this it's so beautiful so so beautiful you can just look at that what I absolutely love about this yarn is that silky feel to it it's got that super silky shine and I don't know I think you I don't know if you guys can see the, the can you guys can you guys see the shine on this can you like see that shine it's got I can I hope you can see it it's it's got a really really beautiful shine so it almost looks even though this is like 100% acrylic it almost looks and feels like a silk yarn so really really beautiful but expensive 260 270 per ball so yeah that is a little expensive so that was one and then the bling in me just had to succumb and buy the party new so this is the nako party new or oh, you can already see the bling can you just see the super super bling on this uh so this one i Yeah okay I don't I one second let me I was just checking out the price I think I don't have the price on this one but I remember this was somewhere around <clears throat> 230 or 250 I'm not sure so there can you see that so lately I have been really really mesmerized by this gold mustard color I can I anything i see in this color i just want to pick it up whether it's apparel whether it's yarn whether it's bags anything in this color i want to pick it up because i don't know why it's uh i i think it's that it's that trend of of uh, you know the mustard was was in last season so i think it's still i still have the after effects of that kind <laughs> of that season i really really love uh this color so uh Can you see that bling super blingy and super shiny but it is not it does not scream at you the bling is not the the shiny bling but it's like a very subtle and classy uh bling on on the on the yarn so it's um yeah so let me just read out um uh, it's 185 meters so this is this is like an eight ply yarn uh quite thick uh the recommended hook size is uh 5 mm for the for this one 
uh, Judy says that she loves mustard yellow too. See, I, I, it's, it's, it's one of the really beautiful colors. Uh, that is, that is, you know, that always, always catches your eye. So, as I was saying, this is 185 meters for 100 grams. This is a thicker yarn. Uh, it's almost eight ply. So, um, good to work it. I would suggest that a 6 mm would definitely work easily for this. I tend to go uh, at least a, uh, at least two hook sizes higher than the recommended hook sizes because uh, I, I feel that you actually feel the softness of the yarn if you if you go a hook size higher and do a softer tension. So it, it gives that room and that space for the, for the yarn to breathe in. If, if you have a very tighter tension, it kind of, the, the yarn kind of you loses its bounciness and its softiness, softness. So um, I, I, would, I would easily go for a 6mm six, six uh, hook with this one. But yes, very, very beautiful. So I picked up only one of this. Uh, but I have another yarn to match with this. This is this beautiful, beautiful dark maroon. So I couldn't make up my mind and I didn't want to buy two of each. Uh, so I thought I'd do a combination of these two together. This is also the party yarn. You can see the bling on this. It's, so they have a red in this as well, but this is like a really, really dark, uh, nice dark maroon. So this and this, there you go. This and this, a match, a, a very, very beautiful combination. I just couldn't resist myself and I had to get this. I don't know what I'm going to make with this, but um, something will come up. Something will definitely come up. I have a lot of yarns like that which I want to preview for which I've just bought. I don't know what project I have in mind, but there you go. Can you use, okay, one last time. Can you just see the bling and how beautiful this yarn is? Yeah, very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Nako yarns, very beautiful, yes, very soft as well, but very expensive. Uh, I somehow kind of don't have that much heart to put in so much money into uh, into these yarns. Uh, it maybe someday yes. If when I but if I work with this and I really like it, maybe it'll change my mind into buying more of Nako yarns. But I feel that uh, there are a lot of good Indian yarns which are very good substitutes and replacement for uh, Nako yarns. Nako yarns especially and at really good prices as well so why not make in India use them so I'll go for the next one so one question did you guys see the 2019 Pantone shade of the year Pantone color of the year it's this very beautiful peach uh, coral coral peach kind of a color, so beautiful, I was so mesmerized with that color that I, so, okay, wait, sorry, I'm going to go back to that, Ashita says you can very well spend good money for the projects for your loved ones, definitely, uh, I end up using more of pure wool yarn because it definitely gives me that uh, satisfaction that it's 100% pure wool and for a very good price. Uh, because uh, what I felt is that uh, for Nako yarns, uh, they're all 100% acrylic. They're not even blend yarns with wool or with nylon. They're all 100% acrylic. So for an acrylic wool, acrylic yarn, if you have to shell out so much, uh, it, it doesn't, I, I feel it doesn't do justice. Uh, if you if you have to shell out that much for a really good quality uh, wool blend or a hundred percent pure wool yarn, then I wouldn't mind shelling out. So, so because I end up using uh, the the uh, the Indian pure wool yarns, they are all expensive. They are all like one fifty, one ninety rupees for five hundred for fifty mm ball. A 50 gram ball which is which is very less uh, in terms but it's quite expensive 
but uh, I don't mind putting in for a, for a pure wool rather than 100% uh, acrylic. So that is my take on it, obviously. Uh, everybody has their own opinions, no doubt about it. Um, but I feel that it's not worth for acrylic, for 100% acrylic. Okay, as I was, let me go back. As I was saying about the 2019 Pantone color shade of the year, uh, it's a beautiful peach coral uh, shade. Uh, Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I was so mesmerized with it because of late when, when Pandon released that uh, shade, uh, it, was, uh, it was just all over the internet. Everybody was, you know, uh, putting up for that peach coral shade, everything in that peach coral shade. So it's this very nice flamingo peach, uh, pink coral kind of a color. Uh, I can't explain it. So... I saw this one yarn of Narco, um, which was that shade, and I just couldn't resist myself, so I had to go and buy it, and this is the yarn. So I think it comes out a little more pink in, uh, in this, but it's a little more peachish in color. Uh, so this is the Narco Laura, there you go, Narco Laura yarn. Uh, it is a super bulky yarn. There you go. You can, can you see how bulky this is? It's one of the really, really good bulky yarns. Uh, I have not found this thicker yarn in an Indian yarn. Uh, it's, um, I have not tried the safari, but I think the safari is also similar thickness. But this is like really, really thick. You might have to use like a, like a 12, 15 mm to 18 mm hook size to or you can you could this could also work very well for finger knitting or finger crocheting so bulky weight yarn uh because i have been a i've been on a search for bulky weight yarn forever here in india i think i spoke about this last time in my life as well uh but uh, I, this one yes it kind of comes close to a bulky weight yarn 12 ply it is thicker than a 12 ply Ashita, uh, it, it, it is a little thicker than a uh, 12 ply. I think the 12 ply is a little, um, and 12 ply is, is quite acrylic and not that soft. This one is really, really soft. Uh, it, it is acrylic, so it has a lot of fibers, no doubt about it. You can see like a lot of fibers there. You can, you can pull out the fibers, but um, it's nice. I got only one, uh, this is, so I, let me just tell you how much, uh, so this is soft because it is, uh, and it doesn't feel uh, as hard as the 12 ply acrylic yarn that we have here, because this is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So because it's a wool blend, it has, uh, it has some, uh, you know, softness to it. So this is 100 grams ball, but it's only 35 meters because it's a super bulky uh, weight yarn. And um, the recommended hook size is, is 10 for crochet, 10 mm for crochet. So I think you could easily use a 12 mm or a 15 mm uh, hook for it. Uh, make it more lighter and breathe breathable. Very, very light yarn. Um, bulky weight, but very light. I bought only one of these for this, just for the color. I think I'm gonna make like a like a really small cowl uh, for this because it looks really beautiful. A peach will look definitely uh, nicer. Uh, so that very nice. So some of my shopping from Nako yarns, and I ended up buying two Tunisian crochet hooks because I'm definitely going to try Tunisian crochet as well. Now for the last and some really, really beautiful yarn, I, there you go. Last time, I think I put up a story about uh, Pradhan embroidery coming out with the Ganga ripple yarn, which is like, it is, which comes in cake. It comes as a pack of two. Um, let me just open and show you this. It is a cake yarn with with shine in it so it is really really nice 
So if you can see there, you can see. Can you see that? So it's got that shine in it. It's got a shiny thread that runs throughout. But it's a cake yarn, so you get these really beautiful colors of yellow and gray and white and mustard and this beautiful, gorgeous rust color. So I'm very excited to work with this. I think this is a four ply, so it will work really nice as well. So let me just, yeah. So this is 200 grams for one ball and uh, it is 540 meters in one. Trust me, you guys, uh, you, can just, you can just make one entire project out of this. 540 meters in one ball. And it costs 255 for a 200. This is a 200 gram ball. It's 255 for one uh, ball. And uh, um, Ashita says you got these from Pradhan. Yes, Ashita, this is from Pradhan. They have already launched this on their website. Uh, it, uh, it just got launched, I think, uh, two weeks back. And uh, I was just browsing through their website and I saw that this got launched and I just had to buy it. Uh, because it's, And they have such beautiful colorways in it. And somehow, yes, I ended up with a mustard, golden mustard shade again. Uh, I don't know why. There's something about this color that just catches my eye and I have to buy it. So it comes as a pack of two and really, really, really beautiful. And it's got that shiny bling in it. So this is like a really good, uh, if you're planning to do some tops or something which is, you know, which you can go for party wear and, and stuff. Some really, really good projects can work out from this. And I cannot, I'm just like, I, I am still overwhelmed with the fact that this is 540 meters for just one ball. One entire project can be done in this, which is like super cool. It's just super, super cool. Imagine one ball and you're sorted for the entire project. You don't have to keep hunting for more and more yarn. <laughs> so that. Uh, and for the last, I have one more yarn. So I didn't buy it this time. I had bought it quite some time back. But, um, and I think in, in my last live also, I had mentioned uh, that I have the yarn, but I couldn't show it that time. So this time I've, I've opened and kept it out. So I had got... Sorry, I had got, uh, they fell down. I had got the um, loopy yarn from Pradhan Embroidery Store. It's 100% acrylic. But uh, it's the yarn with which has got the loops already in it. And I was very, very fascinated with this yarn. So I ended up buying quite a bit, a long time back. But I have not made any project from it. Uh, but since I was doing reviews, I said, why not? So... There you go. So I bought these, I bought this beautiful gray shade uh, for uh, the yarn. And then if you can see, can you see, you can see that there is, there are little tiny, tiny loops, which are joined by this one single thread all along. So uh, you can see that there are, there are these beautiful loops and you can work with it really beautifully. You can make really good amount of, uh, you know, designs in terms of uh, accessories or uh, even a, even a beautiful shawl can work so i think i'm going to try and do a tutorial on how to work with these loopy yarns uh, it'll be really really good uh, because i myself in the process of researching and and finding out how do you work with these because they don't crochet like your normal uh, yarn which is there because of all these loops you can see the loops like kind of stand out Looks really beautiful. Texture is really nice. Very, very soft. There is not much, no, uh, you know, information about this on the... This is also from the Pradhan Embroidery website. They don't have much information about the yardage and, uh, you know, uh, what hook size and everything because you, it doesn't apply to this. Uh, so, so this is, this is the, the loopy yarn that you get here really beautiful really really beautiful yarn so i got one in this gray and i had to get one in this super super bright multicolor i just love the amount of colors that are there on this 
you can just see you can see anything like everything ranging from purple to pink to red to yellow green there is like every color possible on this this is like a super unicorn shaded yarn and and in the loopy yarn that too very very beautiful i think i'm going to be making uh, you know a very beautiful bag out of it i think with the gray one as well um shelly asks that is it hard to work with uh it is not hard to work with i haven't worked it as yet with it but i have i have seen how do you how to work with a loopy yarn uh it does not work uh you know in a normal uh, way as you as you you know crochet or knit because it doesn't work that way uh, there did, but there are different techniques of working with loopy yarn uh so ashita asks what can be made out of these loopy yarns so i have um, i think there there are a lot of things that can be made uh, with a loopy yarn you could do garments as well uh but not like uh, you could do like a shrug or uh, you know like a small uh, cowl also can be made because these are really soft uh they would be perfect for bags and uh, you know uh, because you because the way you work with this there are like two or three techniques of how to work with the loopy yarn so depending on what technique you use um you can make you can you can either make the loop stand out or you can you know uh subtly include them in the stitches i will be doing a tutorial on how to use these uh, uh loopy yarns maybe in the next month uh and not, not too many things at the same time so it's a really beautiful colorway i was very very excited uh to so uh, you know this color these amount of bright colors in one just catches it's just it's it's just me actually so i got this beautiful gray as well i don't know what i'm going to make with them but then yes i uh, since i i i've kind of figured out of how to work with these yarns uh, some projects will definitely come up with this so lot to look forward to in 2019 because is a lot of things will be coming up for string diary and uh, keep a watch out thank you for all the hearts thank you for joining in and looking at all these reviews i will be putting up uh, i think i am done with all the yarns for today uh, i will be putting up my reviews on the stories as well which will be there on the highlights so you can go back and have a look at it whenever you want to buy the yarn um i'm will try and uh, see if i can include um uh, a link to pradham embroidery store so that it is it will be easier for you guys to just pop on there and 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 buy it so i hope that works as well but um let me know come you know get back to me let me know how uh, if you want any more reviews about any particular yarns um uh and uh, if you if you would want me to do uh anything in particular for uh in terms of tutorials or in terms of reviews uh so let me know as much as possible get back to me i am always available on dm uh but as if now i'm i'm kind of done with all the reviews uh for all the yarns so a lot of new yarns good ones some of them good some of them not so great uh can't wait to work with them a lot of new things lined up for string tidy in 2019 um but then for the end of for the entire end, uh, remaining part of the december i i don't think i'm going to be available because i'm traveling and i'm going to be back on the i think on 28th or something so but i'll be available on dm so uh, dm me if you have any questions if you if you are looking to buy some of these yarns but don't not sure of of how it will work or how how good is it so thank you for joining in uh, it was really really great to uh, you know chat with you guys and uh, let you know about all of these yarns so hope to see you soon again and uh, 
Thank you so much for joining in again. Thank you. Good night. Thanks, Shelly. I'll be praying for you guys too. Uh, for all of us, uh, let's hope how, that we have a really, really good year in 2019. Thank you so much for all the hearts. See you guys. Good night for now and good morning for all the people in the US. See ya.